Hello and welcome. In today's video, I am going to show you how can you create a table using auto layout. And it's pretty simple, you know, it's not that hard. This auto layout is a pretty powerful and always when we design any web application, sometime, uh, you know, we have to create tables and in traditional way, if you are creating tables, it takes a lot of time. One of my previous video, I shared that how to create responsive table uh, in Figma. But here, with the power of auto layout, now we can create even much more faster and much more easier. Means the creation of table now become much more easier. So let's talk and see how I'm creating that. So in my table, I will have columns, we'll have name, email ID and user ID. So let me first create that name and I want to make it as auto layout. I can do it two way. I have a shortcut, shift A or just simply right click and say add auto layout. Now, as I created this as auto layout, now in this, uh, you know, auto layout panel, instead of horizontal, I'll make it vertical. And then uh, I'll double click and go inside the name, means the text. And from here, what I'm from the design panel in the right side, I will stretch left to right okay and also what i'm going to do is i am going to increase a bit and i'll keep this text left align only now we'll duplicate this couple of times because i need to add data to it i'll duplicate it uh, let me duplicate it okay and uh, let me duplicate few times and then I add data to it so I'm going to use a plugin called content reel and it is by Microsoft it's pretty simple and pretty useful plugin I will use full name where I have the first name and last name I'll apply that now my data are getting you know filled up but it's not done yet first thing what I have to do is I will simply drag and increase this and I'm going to again create this as auto layout so I simply select shift and a now these all are become auto layout and now I can increase this. See what happened. Somehow I forget to select this. So that's the reason. Yeah, somehow I forget to select this one. So let me select all of them and create auto layout. Now I can simply drag and you know, increase the width of this. So let me increase this something like this. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I simply duplicate this for my email column and then I'll again duplicate it for my user ID column or phone number column. So I'll say this is email and this is phone number. Phone number. Okay. So now I'll select this three child item and again I'll create an auto layout. Before that, I'll just make sure that uh, you know these things are um, top aligned and now let me change the value of these content from content reel again I'm going to use demo data for email uh, now you notice that it's I need to increase the you know size of this but this is something not real this is not exactly the table thing so what I have to do is which I did wrong before this so when in 
inside any uh, auto layout if I have another auto layout so I can select them and I can make them stretch to left and right okay similarly this one also I have to do stretch to left and right here let me do the same thing so that it will automatically stretch if I increase or decrease any size of it similarly I will also do the same thing here I will simply select all the auto load child item and then I'll put it straight simply now if you notice why here is a gap and why here is no gap because I simply you know um, increase the size of it the width of it and you notice if I change the width then the column is automatically responding so let's make this column let's say for uh, 210 uh, and this column will be 240 and this column will be 190 now let me add the phone number here okay so again I'll use content reel and I'll give this phone number okay so here's my data and this is using auto layout now if I want to add one more column now it is so simple I'll just simply double click go into one column and duplicate it see my column is created now I want to put it as let's say uh, address okay now I select all this text again I'll go to plugin content reel and let me give um, address I think address is not added so how to add so here's a bonus tip how to add you know demo content here go to your content library it'll take a little bit of time because it connect with the server and then uh, they will show you that what kind of content you can add there let me try one more time um, somehow it's not responding so okay let's relaunch it again let's see mm, yeah so I go to content library um, search for address let's see how fast it come no somehow yes now US street address I say okay pin it to home now I'll go to my home okay because it goes to server and then comes it may take some time of course you cannot work this one without internet connection so here is the US address uh, I would like to see the demo first that's how they change the experience okay apply now see the adding a column is not so easy and I can easily put here now if I want to you know give some uh, stroke here I can give a stroke of this similarly I can give a stroke here and I can give a stroke here also for my heading I can give a stroke here also for my heading okay so one thing you notice that in between this uh, you know because uh, there's a thick line is coming so you can you can't change you can't do that because basically you know because because it's it's quite hard because it's stretching and it's not overlapping with each other so that's that's another issue but let me try to fix it maybe if I say center no if I say outside no so basically you have to live with this maybe I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I get this solution uh, if I get I will definitely share with all of you but this is a basic idea to create but I will suggest avoid using stroke only then uh, you can just simply use some fill color maybe something like this um, maybe something like uh, you know 
this sorry i put it wrong place uh, yeah so fill maybe with this again don't give this fill with this color light blue yeah so and now if i want to increase this i can increase this and it's kind of a responsive table and if i want these things you know this entire text maybe phone number i want maybe in right align so i just simply select all this i will make it right align sorry i suppose to select other two item and move it right up and then maybe i can again you know increase and decrease now if you want to give some padding here so that in that way if you do then you will you know you can't do that so simply you select individual child item and then you increase the you know, horizontal padding from here similarly you select um, individual child item and then you select that horizontal padding from here so it is simple uh, i hope this is useful and you will apply it to your live project thank you so much for watching if you feel that this is useful my videos are useful don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much once again see you with another video